So if you're running a business or building an audience online, you already know that email marketing is still one of the most powerful tools out there. The challenge is that managing email campaigns manually becomes overwhelming fast. That's where email marketing automation tools come in. These platforms handle the repetitive tasks while letting you focus on strategy and content. I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel, where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I am breaking down the 5 best email marketing automation tools heading into 2026. We'll look at what makes each one unique, how they actually work, and which one might be the right fit for your specific needs. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's dive in. Ok guys, first let me introduce you to Omnisend, which has emerged as a powerful competitor, specifically targeting e-commerce businesses that want omni-channel marketing automation. While platforms like Klaviyo focus purely on email and SMS, Omnisend takes a broader approach by integrating multiple marketing channels into unified campaigns. Let me show you how it works, folks. When you sign up, you just choose which platform you are using. It can be Shopify, WooCommerce, lots of other platforms, or none. You also need to pick the email service you already have connected to. I currently have MailChimp installed. I can connect my site to WooCommerce by clicking a single button. It takes me to the page where I can download the Omnisend plugin. Then I just install and activate the plugin and connect it to my account. Let's do that, guys. I'll open my online store and install the plugin. Once it's installed, I can go into the settings and connect it to my account. Omnisend automatically detects your brand and logo. It recommends which fonts to use in your emails. You can save your brand assets now or skip it. Let's save them. And here's a great AI feature for your site called Start with Smart Recommendation, folks. The smart tool scans your site and tells you what you should improve. You can select how many contacts you have and what you want to focus on. Your audience, purchases, engagement, or automated messages. Ok guys, let's go with messages. The intelligent assistant does an in-depth analysis of your website and personalizes Omnisend based on the real data on your site. The first thing it suggests is setting up a subscriber sign-up form. I can check the documentation for setting it up. When I click Launch Sign-up form, Omnisend shows a window offering 10% off the first order. I can also customize the items that show up here. I can control the layout and exactly what I want users to click on. And there you go, guys. The form is active and is now collecting subscribers. Now let's go to the second recommendation. Omnisend suggests creating a welcome automation for new subscribers, which is also super important. I'll click Create Welcome Workflow and we can set it up like this. We'll stick with the free plan, where it will show the Omnisend logo. Now for the third and final step, post-purchase automation. Omnisend suggests setting up follow-up messages after every purchase to encourage repeat orders. I'll click Setup and here we see the order follow-up workflow. First, a customer places an order, then you wait 7 days and send a message offering to discover more great finds to bring them back to your store. Let's start the workflow and see how it works, folks. And here I can view all of them in one place. I can also create custom ones. And there are tons of options. There are lots of pre-made ones that can help boost your online store. Omnisense pricing is pretty straightforward. There's a standard plan at about $11 a month when you pay upfront, which is great for smaller businesses and gives you email marketing, web push, and basic support. The pro plan is around $41 a month with upfront payment and is designed for bigger senders who want stronger features like unlimited emails, more contacts, advanced reporting, and priority support. There's also a custom plan for companies that need huge sending volumes or special requirements. And for that one, you just talk to their team to get a quote. All plans come with the full feature set and you can add personalized content for an extra fee unless you're on Pro or Custom where it's included. If you want to power up your e-commerce marketing, with smarter workflows and easier automation, start using Omnisend today. And big thanks to Omnisend for sponsoring this video. Ok, let's move on to the next one. And now, my friends, let's look at MailChimp, probably the most recognized name in email marketing. 
What makes this thing particularly appealing is how approachable it is for beginners, while still packing enough features to serve growing businesses. When you sign up, you start by importing contacts or building your list from scratch. The platform lets you create sign-up forms that you embed on your website, and these forms automatically add new subscribers to your designated lists. The interface is visual and intuitive, so you're not staring at complicated dashboards. The Automation Workflow Builder is where the platform really shines, my friends. You create customer journeys by setting up triggers and actions. When someone subscribes, that's a trigger. The action might be sending a welcome email immediately, then waiting three days before sending popular content, then offering a product later. You build these sequences by dragging and dropping elements, so you can see the path each subscriber takes. MailChimp handles segmentation elegantly, folks. You divide your audience based on behavior, like whether they opened previous emails or clicked specific links. You can also segment by demographics, purchase history, or custom tags. This means your automation can branch in different directions, depending on who the subscriber is. The Email Builder uses a drag-and-drop editor where you assemble emails from content blocks. You add text, images, buttons, and social links by clicking and dragging them into position. The platform provides templates to start, but you can customize everything to match your brand. One standout feature is predictive analytics, guys. The platform uses AI to analyze subscriber behavior and predict who's likely to purchase or lose an interest. This lets you target high-intent subscribers with special offers or re-engage people drifting away. Reporting happens in real time. After sending a campaign, you immediately see open rates, click rates, and which links performed best. It also tracks revenue directly if you connect your store. For businesses just starting, MailChimp offers a free tier supporting up to 500 contacts and 1,000 emails monthly. As you grow, paid plans scale with you. Alright guys, next is ActiveCampaign, which positions itself as a customer experience automation platform rather than just an email tool. This matters because this tool thinks beyond simple email sequences to encompass your entire customer relationship. It starts with contact management that's more like a CRM than a basic email list. Contacts don't just have an email address and name. You track custom fields, tag them based on interests or behaviors, and assign deal values if they are potential customers. This rich data becomes the foundation for incredibly targeted automation. The Automation Builder is significantly more powerful than most competitors, folks. You create automations using a visual interface, but the conditions and actions are far more granular. You might trigger an automation when someone visits a specific page three times, check if they previously opened emails about that topic, then split the path based on whether they are a paying customer or free user. The platform integrates deeply with your website through site tracking. Once you add code to your site, it sees which pages people visit, how long they stay, and what actions they take. This behavioral data feeds directly into automations. Someone browsing your pricing page repeatedly might trigger a sequence offer in a consultation call, folks. Email creation uses a similar builder to others, but where it excels is conditional content. You design one email that displays different content blocks to different recipients based on their data. Someone in New York might see local events, while someone in California sees different content. Active campaign includes built-in lead scoring, guys. You assign points for actions, like opening an email worth 5 points, clicking a link worth 10 points. When a contact reaches a certain score threshold, they are flagged as hot leads and trigger notifications to your sales team. The platform's split testing goes beyond basic subject line tests. You can test entire automation paths against each other, sending half your audience down one journey and half down another. Active Campaign doesn't have a free tier, but entry-level plans start reasonable for the power you're getting. As your list grows, you unlock features like attribution reporting and predictive sending. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now, my friends, let's talk about ConvertKit, which has built a loyal following specifically among creators, bloggers, podcasters, and online course creators. This one focuses on doing email marketing really well 
for a specific audience, and that focus shows in how the platform works. When you start, the core concept revolves around forms, landing pages, and sequences. You create sign-up forms specifically designed to grow your audience. These aren't generic contact forms, guys, but optimized lead magnets, where you offer something valuable, like a free guide in exchange for an email address. Once someone subscribes through a form, they can automatically enter a sequence. Sequences are linear by default, which keeps things simple. You write a series of emails that go out on a schedule you define, like day one, day three, day seven. Each new subscriber starts at the beginning and moves through at their own pace. What makes ConvertKit powerful despite this simplicity is their tagging system. Instead of managing complicated lists and segments, you guys apply tags to subscribers based on interests and behaviors. Someone who downloads your photography guide gets tagged as interested in photography. If they later click a link about portrait lighting, they get another tag. The automation rules let you combine tags with sequences in smart ways. You might have a rule that if someone has the photography tag and clicks a link about your course, automatically tag them as course interested and send them a specific pitch sequence. The email editor is intentionally minimal, folks. They believe emails should look like they come from a real person, not a corporate marketing department. So instead of elaborate templates with graphics, you get a clean text-based editor that produces emails that feel personal. ConvertKit really shines in selling digital products. The platform includes built-in commerce features, so you can sell ebooks, courses, or memberships directly through the platform without needing separate payment processors. Creator Network is another unique feature, guys. It's essentially a referral system where you can recommend other creators to your audience, and they can recommend you to theirs. When subscribers come through these recommendations, both creators benefit. ConvertKit offers a free plan for up to 1,000 subscribers, generous for creators just starting. Paid plans unlock automation features and the ability to sell products. And last but not least is Klaviyo, guys, which has become the dominant force in e-commerce email marketing. While other platforms dabble in e-commerce features, this one was built specifically for online stores, and that specialization makes a huge difference. The foundation of this tool is its e-commerce integrations. When you connect it to your Shopify, WooCommerce, or BigCommerce store, it pulls in complete purchase history, browsing behavior, product views, cart additions, and checkout starts. This transactional data becomes incredibly valuable for automation. Klaviyo's power emerges in its pre-built flows designed specifically for e-commerce. The abandoned cart flow is probably the most famous, folks. When someone adds items to their cart but doesn't complete the purchase, it automatically tracks this and sends reminder emails. These emails dynamically display the exact products they left behind, including images and prices. Browse abandonment works similarly, guys, but captures people who viewed products without adding them to cart. Post-purchase flows thank customers, request reviews, and recommend complimentary products. Winback flows identify customers who haven't purchased in a while and attempt to re-engage them. The segmentation capabilities are exceptionally granular because of all that e-commerce data. You can create segments like customers who spent over $200 in the last 90 days but haven't purchased in the last 30, or people who viewed winter coats but bought summer dresses instead. Klaviyo's email builder includes dynamic product blocks that automatically populate with personalized recommendations. You guys can set rules like show this person's three most viewed products or show best sellers in the category they browse most. Each recipient sees different products based on their behavior. Predictive analytics forecasts customer lifetime value, predicts next order date, and identifies customers at risk of churning. These predictions feed into automations, letting you treat high-value customers differently. SMS marketing is fully integrated into the platform, folks. You can build flows that combine email and text messages, like sending an abandoned cart email, followed by an SMS reminder if they don't respond. Klaviyo doesn't have a free tier, but offers a free trial. Their pricing scales with contacts and is on the higher end, but e-commerce businesses often find the ROI justifies the cost.
Alright folks, that's a wrap on my look at some of the best email marketing automation tools out there. Setting up smart workflows for subscriber signups, welcome emails, and post-purchase follow-ups can really take your online store to the next level and save you a ton of time while doing it. If you're serious about growing your business, I highly recommend giving one of these tools a try. Start small, test it out, and see how automation can actually work for you. If you're excited to try them out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and till next time.